Hello everyone, Happy New Year. Um, how are you? Um, this is gonna be a little bit of a different video. Um, I just wanted to come in, of course, and say Happy New Year, and then reflect on 2017. Um, it's been a great year. You know, I tried to um, work on myself back in the middle of January of 2017. I kinda got a rough start. Um, and then starting in February, that's when I hit the gym. So I'm proud to say that I'm over the 50 pound mark. Whoop, whoop. And it's, I'm still going strong. I even went to the gym today. So um, I hope you guys are, you know, thinking about what you want to do, um, you know, for 2018. It's crazy to say that it's going to be 2018. Um, but so I have a video. It's not a haul. It's nothing that. It's probably some things that you've not seen. Um, it's going to be a different video for me. I wanted to reflect on all the purchases that I had made in 2017. Or not all the purchases. But the ones that were great purchases. And if they was to ever break. Um, or things that I will keep buying basically. If that makes sense. So I'm just going to. I mean this does not have to do only with purses. This is everything that I have, um, new things that I had bought that I really, really enjoy and I'm so glad that I got them. So it may be makeup. I do have a couple of handbags, um, some face creams, like things like that. So this is going to be just kind of a wide uh, variety of items. Okay, so the first favorite item that I got, and I actually bought this on Black Friday, is this brush. Um, the reason I cut my hair um, so short was because I when it was really really long. I have very thin hair to be honest It would constantly not uh, like not back here and I felt like I was pulling out mo majority of my hair so My mom had bought this and she said you need to buy one. So I got one on Black Friday At Ulta, but I have seen these at Sally's Beauty Supply as well If you all have one of those and if I can find the link then I will attach it but this is the Wet Brush Pro. And you can see that it's got like these hoes in here. So when your hair does get, I mean, of course, when you brush, you get loose hair. So what I do is I try to just scoop it out. And um, I like to keep mine clean. But it's really, really good. I mean, it doesn't pull my hair or anything. I love this brush. And I know that Sally's has it in pink. Um, Ulta only had it in this purple, but uh, I mean, I don't really care as long as it does what it needs to do, but I really, really like this brush. So this was, of course, I, I got it on sale. I think I, I think I paid like $8 and that was on sale at Ulta. And I'm pretty sure when I saw it at Sally's, it was like eight or nine bucks anyway. So, I mean, that, that must be the going price. Okay, so the next item that I have that I've been using all year, um, since January, I guess, is a very expensive item, and I've actually been buying, I bought it through, like, someone that I knew that sold it, and then after that, I started buying it from eBay, and I would just buy, like, I would purchase one item at a time as I was running out of it. So, this is the Rodin and Fields, um, this is the Reverse. So, the Reverse is actually for those that like to tan. Um, and have the dark spots um, real bad. So I started using this back in January. I actually paid the full price um, for the item in January from someone that I knew that was selling it. And then after that, on like Mercury or eBay, I would buy just the item that I was running low on. So with the reverse, like I said, it's just for dark spots. So it comes with a wash, which you, which I usually keep in the shower because I wash my face in the shower. And then on the second one, oops, oops, this is like your, um, like the alcohol that you would use. So this one's called the Intensive Brightening Toner. So that's the toner, which, <coughs> excuse me, majority of these will last you maybe about four months for me so each item lasts me about four months because I think this may be this may be my third that I've gone through this year I guess um and then the third one is the skin lightening treatment so this is like your lotion that you put on like those 
really bad spots and it does not take much at all to you for this stuff like you just dab I do like two little dabs and then it goes all over and the fourth one is just basically a sunscreen that you're supposed to put on um, under your makeup I use this a lot in the summer but I'll be honest this is the only one I've never repurchased this one um, I only use it in the summer or if I knew that I was gonna be out in the Sun and majority of the time I mean I'm not if it's not summer I mean good lord it's like nine degrees outside today I'm not gonna be outside so so that's that that's the reverse and because I bought this and I was like really self-conscious about my dark spots which I'm really I'm really pleased with the product and I think that it worked but I still had some blemishes that um, did not go away um, with the reverse and so I, I upped my makeup <laughs> And this is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Makeup. This is what I actually use every day. Um, I even, you know what I did. Okay, so the kind that I use is 3C2 The Pebble. And that's not showing up, is it? It's not showing up. Um, you can get this at Macy's. Um, you can get it online. You can get it, I mean, just about anywhere that sells Estee Lauder, you can get it. It ranges about $34, um, but this, I wanted, you know what I wish I'd done? I wish I had marked on the calendar when I bought it and when, how long I used it, because this is only my second tube and I literally just opened it. So it lasts a very long time and granted, I'll be honest, on the weekends, if I'm not going anywhere, I do not wear makeup. So I basically just wear it Monday through Friday or the days that I'm at work. So if I'm on vacation and I'm not going anywhere, I'm not wearing makeup. So this is a very good product for me and I'm going to continue buying it and I know that I, it's a little bit more on the pricier side than majority of my makeup that I've, you know, have purchased in the past. It's lasted me a very long time. I mean, it lasted me almost, I mean, I probably used it at least eight months. This probably will last me eight months, I'd say. And I may not have started using it in January. It may have been like March when I had thought about using it. So if it can last me that long, I'm okay with it. Okay, so the next thing, I do have lipstick on today, but typically I do not wear lipstick because I have very chapped lips. I guess I sleep with my mouth open, I don't know, but usually my bottom lip just peels completely, and I know that sounds so disgusting, but e.l.f., which is a very reasonable um, product, and you can get it at Walmart, um, I probably even Target sells it, I don't know, I just know that Walmart sells it. Um, it's a lip exfoliant. Um, so what it is, is you can get it in all different kind of flavors. I order these because for some reason I can't find it at Walmart, even though they have all the e.l.f. brand. So I just ordered a ton of them to, enough to get free shipping and I figured they would last because I know I'm going to use it. So this is the what, this is what I use. It goes on like a lipstick, but you just, what I do is I go do, 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 and then I just keep rubbing my lips together and sometimes I'll do that multiple times. Um, it's, basically got these like little beads in there so you know how you some people use facial scrubs this is like a facial scrub for your lips so it gets all that like loose lip flaky crap that you have on your lips if you're prone to chapped lips or like I am mine peel it gets all that off so I love that next item okay this is kind of like a plate it's it's like a not a placemat but this what do they call it? It's a silicone mat. So what I, I this is what I used to cook on. Um, I put this on a um, um, crap on a pie pan or whatever. And then this is what I use as like in place of my wax paper, um, aluminum foil, and this can be washed and reused. So I love these. It came in a two pack. I got them off eBay because I could not find them in a local store. I I figured that Walmart would have them, but. I looked and looked and maybe I wasn't looking in the right place, but I love these things. They say to not, um, you know, fold them. So what I do for storage is I just kind of roll them up after I've washed them. But it came in a two pack and I use these almost every day if I'm cooking. So I got my mom some of these also for Christmas. Okay, so the next item that I have that I absolutely love is this red copper um, pan. I love this. I got the I got the smaller one too, but this is the like the big, big mama of them all. These things do not stick. I do spray, use spray oil if I'm using it, uh, depending on what I'm cooking. But 
this thing, all, after I'm done getting all the stuff, I just kind of rinse it out and I can just take a paper towel and wipe it right out. And I mean, it's nothing ever sticks. So I love this pan. It's probably the been it's the best thing that I've ever purchased. <laughs> and I've also got my mom one of those too for Christmas. So, okay, so next, bags. <laughs> okay, so the next thing that I really, really liked of 2017 was this Sage Zip Zip. Everyone knows that the Zip Zip is my favorite bag. And I don't know, I'm really getting into green. And I love this green, it's so pretty. And then I finally got to use my flower charm that I purchased probably two years ago. And I just think it's perfect on this bag. So this is the Sage Zip Zip in Pebble Leather, Dooney and Burke. And I purchased this in 2017 and I'm so happy that I did. Okay, so the last purchase that I've made and was the most recent and I really, really, really am happy that I bought her was my unicorn bag. And this is the um, small Florentine um, Bordeaux, small satchel, Florentine satchel, sorry. Um, so this is in the color Bordeaux. I got an awesome deal on her and I haven't got to use her as much as I've wanted to. I keep, one day I tried to move into her and then I realized my Kentucky Wildcats was playing, so I moved into a bag that was a little bit more Kentucky oriented. So, <laughs> granted, it was blue. So, but yeah, I really, really, really love this bag. And I'm probably going to move into her this week because I think weather wise, it's going to be, I don't, I mean, it's going to be cold, but I don't think it's going to rain. So, but yeah, this finishes up the best purchases of 2017. I know there was only two handbags in it, but I, th I think that if any of you all are wanting to, to buy any of these par products, I really think you can't go wrong. So I loved them. And if they was to ever break or I run out of, I'm gonna get more. So you guys have a good, good new year. I hope t tomorrow, the 2018, it starts and is good for you all. And um, all right, this is it, bye.